G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at a way of cubing any number between 11 and 20. It's a really good little trick and it's actually going to lead us on to work out how to cube any number between 1 and 100. So sit back and I'll show you how to do it. So say for example we wanted to get 12 cubed. Now what this means is it means 12 times 12 times 12. Okay, you might be able to work that out. I'm not sure how fast you may do that. But I'll show you how we're going to do it today. Now, this requires just one little bit thing. What we're going to do is we're going to call this letter here, this number here, I apologise. This number here, this 2, I'm going to give this a letter value. And I'm going to give it a letter value of B. Sort of a little bit like algebra. Just I'm putting a letter there instead. Because when we do 13, it's the same idea that we'll have a B or 14 or 15. Okay, so the first digit we write down when we're doing our working out with this is we write down a 1. Then we write down whatever the value of B is. Then we write down whatever the value of B squared is. And then we write down the value of whatever B cubed is. Okay? Then what we do for this digit and this digit on this next part is we double them. So this part, essentially we have 2B. And this one we have 2B squared. Okay? Alright, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll show you how we'll do this with the 12 cubed. So we write down the 1, then we write down b, which is 2, then we write down b squared, which is 4, then we write down b cubed, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, then we double this number and this number. So the double of 2 is 4, and the double of 4 is 8. And then we do a little bit of adding up. I'll draw that line a little bit better. So 8 plus nothing is 8. 4 plus 2, 12. 2 plus 4 is 6, 7. And 1. Our answer, 1,728. Pretty cool, right? Okay, do you want me to go through another example? I reckon you just said yes. Okay, so I'll go through one. Alright, what about uh, we change this 2 here and we will change it to 3. 13 cubed. Okay, so I start writing it out. I start 1, 3, b cubed, b squared, which is 9, 9 cubed, which is 3 times 3, which is 9 times 3, which is 27. Now, the way I write this is I put the 2 here and the 7 there. I'm carrying that 2 across. Okay, you see how I do that? And then we double these numbers down here. So 3 doubled is 6. And 9 doubled is 18. So I'll put the 8 there, and I'm going to carry that one across. And then I just add them up. 7, 2 plus 8 plus 9 is 19. 3 plus 1 plus 6 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. That's our answer, 2,197. Alright, I'll put another one up here. I'll tell you what, this time, what about you are... Uh, you try to pause the video and we'll um and and see how you go. So eleven cubed. Go on, pause the video. Have you paused it? All right, because now I'm going to go through the answer. All right, so one. Then we have b, which is one. One squared, which is one. One cubed. One times one times one is one. And then what I do is I double this number and this number. So two and two. And this leads us to uh. The answer here, 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, and this number here is 1. Pretty cool, right? Alright, what about you try one last one? And then I'll show you a little trick for uh, for doing the bigger ones, okay? So what about, whoop, I'll get that, that eraser back up, and we'll get rid of that one, and we will instead make it say... Um, what about we do a bigger one? We'll do, actually, I'll, I'll do one that's not as comfortable. We'll do, say, a 15 cubed. All right, here we go. So, first off, we have 1. Then we have B, which is 5. This is the 5 we're going to be doubling. This one next, we have tw 25, so 5 and a 2. And the next one we have is we have five B cubed, which is 5 times 5, which is 25 times 5, which is... 125. Okay, so I'm going to put the 2 there 
and the one there. You'll notice I'm not carrying this, or I'm carrying them, sometimes putting up the top and then the bottom, it doesn't actually matter as long as it goes in that tens or hundreds row. So the next thing I do now is I double the various ones I had. So we had B, now remember that B, the double of that would be 10. So I'll put the zero there and the one there, and the double of B squared, which was here, which will be, was B squared was 25, so the double of that is 50. Okay, so let's add them up. We got five, we have seven, we have two plus five, which is seven, plus one, which is eight, plus five is 13, carry the one, and one plus one plus one is three. And that's how you do this answer, okay? So I'm gonna show you something, because uh, just a little a table that I've, I've written up, because this is really uh, worth knowing, and this is also worth knowing for some of the later stuff we'll be doing, which is, this thing here and what this is is this is the cubes of the numbers 1 through to 9 this is a really really great table to know because obviously once you hit about 19 it's a bit harder so you're going to say oh well that's what point is this trick it's it's, it's too impossible uh, yeah you do you will have to sit down and actually learn these but there is a good reason to do this it's because if you want to start working out the cubes from 1 to 100 if you know all these you can do them fairly quickly you can also start working out cube roots of numbers. Pretty much who's who has a, uh, you know, any cube of any number who has a cube root base of 1 to 100. Well, there you go. You can use this table here to work it out as well. So as long as you know these, and you'll be pretty good. All right. So anyway, I hope you like that video. I'm going to put the links up for the next part of this. Uh, cube, the cube, you know, working out the uh, cubes for any number 1 to 100. And also working out cube roots as well. Okay. There they are at the moment. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.